now this is where I spread my wings. <laughs> it's a Reynolds wrap. I take the time every day to uh, not think, and it shows, doesn't it? <laughs> now I got I got a lot of thoughts in my head, and you can't put most of them on the air because they're they're pornographic. No, no, I mean uh, they're uh, photographic. That's. <laughs> I think about a lot of things every day because the world is constantly changing and I love that song, the Rascal song used to be, Why, how can I be sure in a world that's constantly changing, you know? Uh, I, I, there's so many songs that were about life itself and what we were going through. I don't see so many of those songs right now. I don't hear too many of them right now. There's a few. Uh, you know, I mean, this is not an era of Hallmark cards. They're the guys who have those little cute little sayings, you know, people don't send Hallmark cards, they send electronic fingers on text. Uh, we're all so brief, you know, I mean, everybody is uh, is in a hurry all the time. I don't know why, we, we had a year and a half of not doing anything and uh, we hurried it up, I guess, you know. I couldn't wait to get vaccinated so I could go out and not, and not see anybody. <laughs> uh, half the country is vaccinated right now and uh, people are crazy. 50,000 people at the Kentucky Derby doesn't look doesn't look too exciting to me to uh, uh, to go and hang around with 50,000 people and watch horses that I don't own and I don't have any money to bet on. But people are rich, you know. Isn't that interesting how America is so? See, they've had a lot of money, and and people have not been able to spend it if you if you're rich because you continue to bring it in, but there was nothing to do, nowhere to go. So the rich got richer. And the rest of us uh, still got uh, plastic drapes, you know, in the bathroom. <laughs> it's a shower curtain. Now, you know, we don't have too much going on in uh, in our society that I would say in, in radio and television is uh, going to be exciting because I don't think we've developed any personalities anymore. We don't have anybody that's really outrageous. I mean, when I first started, I was out I was out of order, out of control, and uh, I think there were a few of us, and we got very famous being out of control. So now that we become the model citizens of the planet, we're boring. <laughs> People don't want to see you behave. They want to see you misbehave because they want to see you do something that they would never do and get away with it. And then they like when we get caught because then that's another form of entertainment. And we've turned, uh, as you've often heard, you know this one, come on, the bird's the word. Uh, this is a trashy society right now. It's why I don't know. I'm, I'm not just saying that. I mean, it's always been very progressive, and uh, I, I may have told you my friend who's a hooker. Uh, she's progressive. She follows all the guidelines of the progressive insurance company. What what do they say? They say only pay for what you need. That's <laughs> now that's a good hooker. <laughs> so you know what a hooker is? A prostitute. Well, different. You know, one uh, a prostitute. Uh, is would rather have uh, sex than poverty. That's that's the motto. That's what I heard. <laughs> but those mottos that we use in in uh, commercial world, they they apply. Uh, one of the ones I like is uh, the farmers insurance thing. What do they say? You know, we've seen a few things. You know, <laughs> uh, that's what they say in prison. You know, hey, we've we've not we've done a few things. But down in hell, where most of my friends are right now. Uh, they, they, they have a motto that they use down there. It's, uh, uh, let's go places. That's, <laughs> that's from Toyota, who doesn't have a chip. You know, there's no more, no more of those uh, chips going around. They're all used up by the phones, and everything that we've uh, consumed requires a chip, and they don't have enough to put them in new, in new cars. So the new car sales are not there. They don't have the product. They just don't have them. Uh, that, there's a saying for that out of uh, China, now that we've sold them all of our technology and and some of it has been stolen and hacked, they call it. Uh, that, that, that saying would be about chips, but you can't eat just one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what else is there? Oh man, there's so many things that are off. Uh, and and I, I'm gonna be in a minute here. <laughs> no, we, we got a lot of work to do on this planet. You know what, I, I like work. I think it's fun. I think it's fun to go out and do things. All the, the actors and the sitcoms and the people in my industry of radio and television, they can't wait to get to work. But we don't have a farm team. There's uh, no Tom Brady's in radio right now. And I mentioned that a little earlier in this conversation or this rap, but I think we need to develop some people who are personalities and have a good story. You know, you got to tell a story. You got to talk about something. And, and uh, we're so consumed with the celebrities and the celebrities are so narrow minded uh, you know, we have, they don't, they don't, they don't think a lot anymore. Not these days. 
it's uh, for some reason we don't have the mystery of of the uh, of, of the recording artists and the mystery of the movie stars. They were unavailable. They were inaccessible. They would hide, and you would have to. If you saw one, you would be amazed and you would be thrilled to see even the Academy Awards, which has become. Uh, I don't know what it's become. It's become a, a platform for people who don't like something and they want to brag about it or talk about it. They want to, they have a cause, you know. And I, I don't like uh, watching a half hour of someone preaching without Joel Osteen. <laughs> and if I'm going to, if I'm going to follow anything at all, it's going to be my own sermon. This is the, uh, well, the sermon on a bird. <laughs> Ode on a bird. See, you can be poetic about anything, you know. That's the great thing about the arts. Is that, is that anything goes and someone would admire a painting that looks like crap and they'll be so happy to uh, uh, be involved in anything <laughs> that moves. Isn't that right? Uh, so, you know, we, we're disgustingly uh, plain in, in Florida. Uh, we don't have a lot to do here. It rained a lot, so my walker is rusty. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, except uh, I, I'm, and I'm not retired. Not retired. That means that you are tired again. I'm not even tired to begin with, so don't even think of that. And don't think that you're not seeing me on the regular television or radio because I'm not good or I, I don't want to be there. It's because someone else doesn't want me to be there and thinks I'm not good. <laughs> and they may be right, so what? <laughs> There's a lot of things that aren't good that people make a lot of money doing. I don't know how. Look at the pillow guy. Pillow guy went into other betting, and then he uh, went to off-track betting when he put his money on Trump. Uh, did I mention politics here? I don't want to I, I, get away from that. Come on, come on. No, no. Uh, ooh, my my ears burn when I hear this. <laughs> I don't want to hear any anything. We've been so so touched by everybody who's touched. Uh, we've lived through everybody's pitch on on what we should do to live well. The best thing to do is to keep your health. That's all I can tell you. You know, if you stay healthy, then you can fight all the other demons, and I have them. But I also know how to fight them too. You know, you got to learn. You have one hand tied behind your back. Don't beat yourself up with the other free one. That's the rule of thumb or hand. Uh, I don't think that there's anything wrong with uh, with trying things that you don't know anything about and giving it a shot. I think it's fun. That's the fun thing. And then when you fail, you've learned something. Maybe learn to not do it again. <laughs> That's called marriage. <clears throat> So you know, we we think we got a, a lock on life, and we don't. You just have a you have the moment. We got the we got today. All I have is today. I get up this morning, ask God what He got in mind for me, and then I got a friend I call who's an atheist, and uh, you know, then he says, uh, "Well, you know, there is no God, and uh, you're not. Don't be leading people down a bad path." And I'm thinking, where is he going to go when this is over? And he, and he, and I asked him, I said, "Where are you going to go when this is over?" He says. Nowhere. You don't go anywhere. This is it. This is as good as it gets and it's all there is. Said, oh, that's bleak. Boy, I start thinking that, I'll get depressed. And then I want to go there, wherever it isn't. <laughs> I still want to believe. I want to believe. I want to believe that there's something after this life that's better than this, because this can be uh, painful. The first line in the uh, Road Less Travel, the book, long, year fam years famous book, uh, Peck, what's his name? F. Scott Peck. He wrote, life is tough, so get over it. <laughs> That's about the truth. And young people who are watching me right now, why don't you go watch someone your own age? It's a Reynolds rap. <laughs>